Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming and watching. So I have a video for you guys. It's one I've wanted to do for quite some time. Um, I'm doing a two products kind of thing in this. I'm going to be doing the Revolution um, Pore Blur Prime Blur and Prime Primer. I'm going to be using this and I'm also going to be using the Conceal and Define Foundation. I know I'm way behind on this. I just want to show you guys how it works. Um, hopefully I can check in at a around five o'clock. It is right now at the moment, it is 8.55. I don't know if you can see that um, in the morning. The Pore Blur Primer. So I'm trying this out for the first time. Revolution came out with this not that long ago. Um, this company is cruelty-free and vegan. Um, and you know, don't forget to recycle your packaging and stuff like that. So this is the Blurring Primer. Brand new. I just got, received this the other day and I've been wanting to try this since it came out. So I'm going to put a little on my finger. Oh, okay. It's um, the color kind of of the tube there. So I'm going to start with about this much just to see. I think I need more than that though. But I'm going to pop it on. I have a mirror kind of behind me in my window sill. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm just going to look at that. So hopefully this will, I don't necessarily love pore filling primers because I don't want to fill my pores because then I have issues. But you know what, for the day um, where I'm wearing foundation, I like to have my pores non-visible. So I'm just applying this quite just kind of over the center of my face. So I did put a little bit more on. Um, uh, I do feel a, that little bit um, did go a long way, but I'm just adding, I added a little bit more like that, and now I'm adding just that little bit more to the forehead, and I think that will be perfect. So probably two squeezes would have been, proper squeezes would have been enough, but I just didn't want to overdo it either. My skin is not very happy with the weather changing and all that stuff, so that's that. And then we are going to apply this. I got it in the shade F1. I was going to get the shade F3, but I was afraid it would be too dark. And I feel like with foundations, I'd rather have it a little bit light and then I can bronze up the face. So that is what I'm going to use, the F1. So here's the packaging. It feels really good. I've seen loads of people. I'm sure you've seen lots, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. It's kind of sucky that it is 20 three milliliters of product instead of 30 mils. Um, but I guess this wand probably in there takes up a lot of room because you're thinking this bottle is huge um, and it feels really good like weight wise. So packaging is really pretty. Um, I don't really necessarily like this because I have acne problems, but I'm going to use it and then I'm just going to wipe it off at the end. Um, with a wipe. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to need. So I'm just going to wipe a little bit of that off on like, don't want to put it back in. So we use a wipe and then just clean it a little bit. So I don't have to go back in. And then I probably don't need that much. So, cause it is a full coverage. So I'm going to start with that much. And I am going to use a new brush, um, that I purchased, which is, um, came in this little set. There's like three brushes. So there's this brush, this brush, this brush, and a sponge. It's called the Ultra Sculpt and Blend. I got it for like five pounds something, five pounds something. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm going to use the, I love brushes with a slant. Like this looks so good. It doesn't feel as dense as I would like the foundation brush to feel, but I really wanted to try this. It feels so soft. So the shade is that tad bit light, but we're going to see if it oxidizes a little bit. This brush is working quite nicely for blending. I'm kind of just doing a swiping down motion and then I like to tap. Now I think I put a little bit more on the other side, on this side. I didn't really put enough on this side, I don't think. So we'll see anyway. I don't think I would build this foundation up because I do feel, it doesn't feel like super thick, but it definitely feels like it's gonna be full coverage. 
can we see can we see how full coverage this is looking it is looking really good it's definitely that tad bit light but like i said i would rather it be a little bit too light where i can bronze it up just a little bit but this actually might be a tad too light but I'm okay with having to buy another shade and then, you know, mixing the two if I have to or whatever because it's so affordable. I want to say this was like 10 pounds. So it's up there in price, if I'm honest, because that's like 11.50 for me-ish around there. Um, so it's up there in price um, for foundations because some foundations are like 9 euro, 8 euro in the drugstore. So this foundation is quite up there in price and especially since you only get... 23 milliliters it's quite up there but I don't feel like you need a whole lot I do feel like I put a little more on this side so I'm just gonna add a little more blend that in and um, do the rest of my makeup and I'll come and show you guys but that's how it's looking at the moment my lips are so chapped you guys I'm so sorry just forgive that <laughs> I have to go do a scrub of my lips I should have done it before but they're really dry. So as you can see, it's that tad bit too light, but I have a sweater on today, so it's not going to be too bad. We'll bronze it up, and I'll come back and show you guys after all my makeup is done. I got other videos to film today as well. So yeah, that is it so far. I'm liking it, and it's definitely quite full coverage. Um, I wouldn't say it's super high coverage, but it's definitely done a good job. I didn't put as much over on this side, so I'm just going to put a little more blend that out and do my makeup and I'll be back with you guys to show you how it has settled and everything and looks in a moment. All right, so this is the makeup on, the foundation on. I hope you guys can see. I have definitely warmed it up, but it also warmed up itself. It did oxidize dyes just that little bit, which is perfect. So it looks absolutely stunning on my skin. I'm really liking it. Um, so it was 8.55, it's 9.23 now. Um, so, yeah. It is kind of acting a little weird around my nose. But I have been blowing my nose. I have been a little bit ill and under the weather. So I have been blowing my nose a little bit. So it is quite dry around there. So I'm not going to go along with that at the moment. I probably could have put a little more moisturizer on my nose. I just didn't, obviously. So that could be my fault. So um, this is just my first impressions, you guys. But this foundation looks really nice. I'll probably do a check-in a little later. Um, but I have other videos I need to film. So I just wanted to show you with kind of like a natural face today. I'm not doing a bunch of makeup. Um, I just have a haul to, I have a haul to record, actually two kind of hauls. I don't know if I'm going to put them into one or not. I haven't decided yet, but yeah. So that's the face so far. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi. So welcome back. So I hope this is in focus. I'm kind of doing this a little differently than I normally do, but I just want to talk to you guys. This has been nine hours into the foundation. It is six o'clock or just after six. And I want to say it's held up quite well. It is definitely broken up around my nose, um, under my nose, because I have been blowing my nose. But I have been painting for the last three hours, sweating up a storm. I feel like it is broken away on kind of down the center of my face, which is really weird because that's where I put the primer. So I will be trying it without that primer again. Um, but it does look good, like on my cheeks. My jaw looks pretty good, forehead looks, I never have problems with foundation on my forehead, so that's okay. Um, so I'm going to give this foundation a pretty good mark. Um, for 11 euro, it's pretty good. Um, if foundation can last 8 hours on me, I'm pretty good, it's pretty good. Um, I have been wiping my face a little bit, like around my nose and stuff, like I said, because um, I do have a little bit of a stuffed kind of nose today, runny nose, not stuffed, runny nose today, not too bad. Um, but I was sweating and everything like that, and I probably bumped my chin a good few times because I have been painting. So I think it's held up quite well, actually. I like everywhere except for the center of my face. Um, like on my nose, it's kind of broken up really weird, um, like around here, and I wasn't wearing any glasses or anything like that, so I don't really know why it's done that, and it's kind of broken up under here, but that's probably from just, you know, when you're blowing your nose, you're probably wiping under all under here. Um, I'm going to be taking this off now, so it's okay. It's kind of built up a little in here, a little bit. Like I said, though, I've been blowing my nose, so I'm a little dry there. But other than that, 
this foundation is fairly good so i will be trying it out more this this is just my first impression um so yeah that's all i want to say about the foundation um right now and um i'll let you guys know um you'll know if it's in like a monthly favorites or at the year end favorite or something like that if it's my favorite but um i don't know i'll probably let you guys know soon or you guys can leave a message down below if you really want to know because by the time this video is up i'll probably have worn it a few times so i'd have a better idea so thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe i really appreciate it and i want you to be welcomed in to my family of subscribers thank you so much until next time Bye.